So let's get on to the house. Uh, my big question, well, you know, this guy's been in trouble. He's left it a bit of a mess. Uh, it's a nice house. It's a little rough. So any uh, advice as to how I should be pricing it? Uh, you know, like you said, Jeff, I don't want to be a pig or a hog and try and overprice myself and just stumble myself. You know? What are the numbers, James? I think if it were fully finished, the ARV would be somewhere between 150 and 160. I think, you know, upwards towards 160 might be stretching it a bit. It is a nice house, but it does need a fair amount of work. How much, roughly? If they're doing it or if they're hiring people to do it? Uh, commercial rate, what would it be? If you were gonna go have a licensed contractor come in, roughly. Not, not I'm gonna guess twenty five. I'm gonna guess twenty five would be would be a safe bet because I just found out today actually the air conditioner doesn't work, so that's another three. Okay, what uh, what are you in for? Eighty five. I mean, you could put it out at one nineteen nine, and that'd be a steal of a deal for your buyer, and you'd move it fairly quick. Right. So you think if you you think starting a little low if you want to move it is going to give you a jump from the start rather than starting high and yes. working the way down? Yeah. Hey, that's still a good amount of money for me. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-three thousand bucks. Thirty-four thousand bucks. Take it. Yeah. Is there any way to? weed out people or in this market i'm guessing there might be a lot of people who are willing to do the work oh yeah a lot yeah, of people ought to be board. yeah yeah the perfect time to sell handyman special lease options or seller finance or whatever okay any reason why i can't put a sign out and start feeling it before i even get it cleaned up do you have it under contract yes yeah, it's under contract, and we're scheduling a closing next week. I'd be marketing that thing already. All right, I'm on it. Yeah, yeah I have possession of the house. He just he just left such a mess. It's uh, it's it a bit is, of a job to uh, get it cleaned up. But you is know, the mess something that you could do inexpensively, clean it up. Yeah, it's not going to cost me a lot of money to clean it up, but it, it, it's a bit of work. I'll have to hire a couple of people to do some of it, but. I mean, let's say you could do it for 500 bucks or less. Yeah, you it won't cost me that get, much. Yeah, you can get a lot more money for a house that's, you know, swept clean than you can one that's filled with a bunch of junk. It's just a cheap way to increase what you can get for make, make on a house. Let's say it that way. So you think I should put the sign out right away, but I should also hit it and get it cleaned up as quickly as I can. Yeah, if you're planning to clean it up, I wouldn't necessarily show it until you get it cleaned up because there, there's a huge difference. And people, you know, buyers with cash out there, they're looking for deals. And if they see a thing that's junked up by a hoarder or something like that, they're going to offer a big discount. That cleanup job for them is going to be a $15,000 cleanup job, not a five hundred. Okay, got it. So I should get busy this weekend. Yeah. And would. You could go ahead and put the sign out, start getting buyer leads in and just tell them, look, you know, we're going to have a little showing next Tuesday after you get it all cleaned up over the right. weekend. Have them all come together. Same time, yeah. same, same day. All right. Well, I think I've got enough to do right now. That's all I have for tonight. Right. Yeah, man. Let us know how it goes. I'm glad that uh, the guy got out of jail and everything's moving forward. Yeah, me too. It's making it much easier. <laughs> yeah, good. Excellent. It was a waiting game for a minute there, you know. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know what was going to happen to him. Yeah. But Do you hey. know what he was in for? Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I thought he might have not gotten out because sometimes they don't like to let people out around here for that. But between us and the private group, he well, hey, not that it's not public information. He, he was in for some sort of child molesting and family. Uh, so, yeah. Gotcha. None How of my business. James, you don't, you don't, like we don't guy's know. house, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. No, just because somebody's been accused of something doesn't mean they did it. So it's. Well, that's true, too. 
Exactly. Like I said, it's none of my business. I'm just helping him sell his house and, you know, Perfect. make more money off it. I love it. Great attitude. <laughs>